We're moving along to another Abbott and Costello team, Rob Costello and Bob Greenberg. Ladies and gentlemen, what are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, did you ever? No, please. Did you ever experience deja vu? <laughs> they did no. every. They did every routine but moving candle. Now <laughs> behave yourself, boy. <laughs> How you doing, Chris? How's it going? Hiya, Patty. Hiya, father. Now, never mind that. I'm a bad boy. No, you certainly are. Look, what did you do? What did you do? I saw that policeman outside giving you a ticket. That officer gave me a ticket for being a UFO. What do you mean, UFO? An unidentified fat object. Oh, please. Then another guy walks up to me, and he wants me to be a Jehovah's Witness. What'd you tell him? I didn't even see the accident. No. <laughs> Now, now At don't least they're new. Don't encourage them. Don't encourage them. You've been hearing the same. Anyway, go ahead. No, please, please. You know, pal, I want you to be on your best behavior. You know, I, made, I made dates for us with some very lovely ladies I, after the show tonight. Not a blind date? Blind nothing, pal. This one gets me just, just as, as good, good as, as I can. can. Look, Abbott. The last two girls you set us up with? Yes. You had to pick at them. Now, wait a minute. I gave you the pretty one. Yours had teeth. Now... Yours had teeth, too. You get a look at that tooth? Now, never mind that. She opened cans with it. Oh, please. This chick had so much bridge work, every time I kissed her, I had to pay toll. How can anybody look so healthy and be so dumb? I take, I take vitamins. So oh, please. Didn't you ever go to school, stupid? Yeah, and I came home the same way. Now, wait a minute. You heard that one, I know. Wait a minute. One of them has to repeat. Now, never mind. We saw 50 years of Abbott and Costello before we got here. I'm sorry, Abbott. If you went to school, prove it to me. Here's my college pin. Now that's a toothbrush. I went to Colgate. <laughs> now listen, boy. If you went to Colgate, when did you graduate? After the first year, they gave me the brush. That's what I thought. Could we top the first one? I'm happy about that. No, please. You know, you couldn't even answer a simple question. I can answer a simple question. You can answer a question? Yeah. I'll give you a question as simple as any schoolboy would have it. I'm a, I'm a little boy, aren't okay, I? Okay, look. Suppose nice I... mustache. Now, never mind that. Suppose I gave you $10. Yes. And your father gave you $10. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you got? $10. Now, wait a minute, pal. I gave you $10. Yeah. And your father gave you $10. Yeah. Now, what do you got? $10. No, you see, you don't know your arithmetic. You don't know my father. Not you, father. My father. You understand. Oh, please. Hail Mary. How long can it... It's not All Saints Day, either. I'm sorry, Abbott. How long Get can a man script. live without a brain? I don't know. How old are you? I'm 32. Now, wait a minute. Now, I don't like that. Don't you raise your hand to me. Don't you raise your hand to me, boy. This will drive you crazy. Don't you ever raise your hand to me. What are you waiting for? No, oh, please, please. You know, Abbott? What? I don't, I don't like you incinerating I'm not intelligent. No. Oh. I'm one of the smartest guys in the country. Yeah, how do you do in the city? Not so hard. That's what I thought. Look. Now leave him alone, would you please? You know, oh. there are two... I got... I remember the line. There are two things that make a man intelligent. Two things. Yeah. Number one, an infallible memory. And number two... I forgot. Just as I thought. Your brain is too tense. Too tense? Yeah, too tense the size of a normal brain. <laughs> now look, pal, why don't you just finish up with that little story I wrote oh, for yeah. you? Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, recently we were performing on an American Indian reservation. This was a very interesting tribe. They were Jewish Indians. Maybe you've heard of them, the Sosumi tribe? No. <laughs> Get on with it. Anyway. Anyway, I'm talking to Big Chief Rosenblatt. <laughs> when a beautiful squaw walks by and the chief says chance, then another lovely girl walks by and the chief says chance, then a third gorgeous girl walks by and the chief says chance. So I said to the chief, I said, chief, I thought Indians said how. And the chief said, me no how, me want chance. <laughs> Jeez, well, all right then. Look, pal, just to, to prove what kind of a great guy I am. You're a great guy, Abbott. Sure. I'm, I'm like, going to let my you... Partner, that's all. right, boy. You're my pal. I'm going to let you're you... You're my benefactor. That's right. 
Can I get in a word edgewise, please? Anytime you want. Just okay, I'm going to let can you. Can I say something? Sure, go ahead. No, go ahead. You can say what you want. Okay, I'm going to let you pick up the bill tonight. I'm going to let you pick up the check. You're going to let me pick up the check? That's right. I can pick up the check. That's right, it. boy. What a great guy. I'm going to yes. pick up the check. I'm going to pick up the check. <laughs> I'm going to pick up the check. Thank you, neighbors. Come on. For the judges' benefit team, that was team number four.